Hey guys, Cameron over at 816 Diesel. Coming at you live downtown Kansas City, Missouri in the West Bottoms. We're doing a cold start walk around video today. I know this truck's been waiting for a long time. I've had a lot of people hit me up about it. It is finally ready. We've got a 2007 Dodge Ram 2500 SLT Mega Cab in pearl blue, factory blue paint. We got a train coming too, so we're gonna be cold starting it today. It's not even a cold start, it's 60 degrees out. I drove the truck to do pictures, so it's kind of a cold start, but it's not ice cold. Ugh. You guys know the drill with these things. But we're gonna be starting it up, going through it today, talking about everything we've done to this truck. There's a lot done to it. Nothing too crazy, just a sharp looking running truck. So as you can see, the temperature is not fully warm, but it is just starting to register. I drove it a couple miles, let it run while I was doing some pictures. So that is the extent of our start today. And miles, I don't know if you can see that. 232, 391 on the miles. It's an 07 split year, 6.7 Cummins diesel. Uh, automatic transmission, SLT trim, so cloth, power, no leather, no fancy wood grain. Um, it does have the console, which is kind of rare in these Dodge trucks. I like having the business console in there. It has your CD, auxiliary port, all that good stuff on the radio there. I got the, oh, I got the lights on, that's why. We got some cool lights on it, so that looks better. <laughs> And now you can see that a lot better. 232, 391 on the miles. Like I said, power windows, power mirrors, power locks. Window switches has a broke clip on it, so it's a little loose. Uh, we've got the upgraded fourth gen tow mirrors, paint to match in pearl blue. We did a lot of paint to match on this truck, if you haven't noticed. Um, and let's see here. Looks like the oil change is current within its mileage spec there. focus but two three four nine eight two on the miles uh, since it is a six seven it does have the towing exhaust brake on it uh, four-wheel drive turn um, heat and AC both work Got your charging port down there a little cubby to stick your phone in seating for five in this mega cab uh, it has the overhead console display with just your compass and your mileage other than that, pretty basic. I'm gonna turn it around here and show you the back seat a little bit. Nothing too crazy, nothing too special. Really nice Dodge though, overall. The seats aren't all ripped up or torn up. But yep, that's the inside. Let's make our way to the outside here. We're gonna go over a couple modifications, kind of the pros and cons of this truck and show you everything we know. First, we'll start under the hood. Does have a nice uh, trailer brake or uh, yeah trailer brake controller on it. So it's a 6.7 coming. Someone did a sinister EGR delete. As you can see, the EGR is gone and rerouted. Uh, it has a single HS tow tune on it. We did upgrade the old radiator, had a crack in it. We did upgrade to a fully aluminum welded radiator. Other than that, this truck is bone stock. It has trainee tuning by HS, uh, tow tune by HS, sinister deletes, and an exhaust system. So, nothing too crazy, just pretty common mods on a Cummins here. Um, truck runs awesome. I don't think it has any blow by to my knowledge. Let's check it though. None whatsoever. Stock head bolts, that's pretty much it. Not a lot more to say under the hood there. So we got a tuned and deleted exhaust stock Cummins. As far as the body goes, we've done some upgrades. First nose, a Laramie Sport front bumper, fully PTM'd. We did a one piece grill, left the inside black and painted the outside, uh, what do you call it, the cage of the grill blue. We did these upgraded DRL headlights that have this nice LED white strip in them. A nice set of headlights, they're a couple hundred bucks on eBay. They look real sharp. They have daytime running lights in them. 
Uh, we took the cab lights up top, smoked them out, and put all white LED in them. Uh, I'm trying to think. Obviously, paint to match fender flares, paint to match fourth gen tow mirrors, and and obviously because they got the marker light up in the corners, really all that really makes them a fourth gen tow mirror. But they look nice. White LED DRLs. Um, we did a 20 by 12 ion 141 negative 44 offset 12 inches wide on the wheel amp 35 1250 terrain attack that is the 40,000 mile tread warranty tire they are brand new wheels and tires we did four new zone shocks all the way around now actually I'm just gonna go over this front end while we're here because we did everything so I'm gonna dump down here and show you probably can't see much the Sun's got a huge glare so All new front brakes, pads, rotors, calipers, all new shocks, all four all the way around, zone lift shocks, upper and lower ball joints, gearbox, drive shaft, U-joints, carrier bearing, tire rods, inner, outer, drag link, everything on the suspension on this truck is brand new. I mean, Dodges with these kind of miles, they always have loose front ends. This one is super tight. We just had it aligned. Um, but I mean, it needed some work, and it is a lifted mega cab, a 30 foot long truck on 35, so it is not a Cadillac, but it does drive pretty good and firm. Nothing too crazy. As you'll notice here, we do have a bed liner stripe all down the bottom, and it's paint to match blue. And to me, the truck, I don't know if it had cab corners done on it. Actually, it did. I'm sorry. I just completely forgot that. Sorry guys, we've got a lot of trucks. I have three blue trucks at the moment. This one, we actually had new cab corners and rockers welded in, all new metal. And we did the bed liner to prevent it because we had some rock chips back here and we weren't gonna paint the entire truck. Obviously that gets up into thousands of dollars. So we put brand new cab corners and rockers and had the bed liner done at our body shop when they did all the paint to match work. So. And this truck wasn't super rusty. I just wanted it nice. Look at the bottoms of these doors. There's hardly no rust on them. Super clean. But yeah, we did have rockers and cab corners put in there. It's not a Bondo job. It's not a foam job. It's all new metal and it's in there. I'm trying to show you everything. There's a lot going on with this truck. It has the dual folding action, the reclining rear seats for the mega cab. All you got to do is pull that lever there and down they go. Storage cargo space in the rear here. Cubbies. Like that all the way back. And then they come all the way forward if you need a full storage area in the back seat, toolbox or whatever. Now as far as the body goes, there's no real damage or, I mean there's little dings. I don't even know if you can see these. I'm just seeing them for the first time here. Kind of weird looking. I'm gonna you can see a couple little ripples up here. This truck isn't perfect, guys. I'm not trying to mislead you. It's not a rusty truck though. It just the cab corners were bubbling and soft, and we were getting all this paintwork done, so we did have it fixed. If you look at this bed, I mean that's the condition of the truck when we got it. There's no crumble, there's a little bit of light surface rust that is it it's actually a pretty sharp whole truck underneath give them cross rails great condition just trying to get a feel for all of this truck uh, there's no rust under these flares I don't believe there was there might be a couple little dollops little bubbles but nothing crazy most of it was just the ca uh, cab corners and rockers. Uh, you know, same stuff you always see from us. Smoked LED third brake, smoked LED tail lights. Um, we did a PTM brand new bumper on the rear, which definitely gives it a nice little touch. It kind of takes it from an SLT and makes it look a lot fancier. And with this blue, it really pops. Uh, it's got a four inch exhaust into a tip, five inch tip. Not super loud, if I recall, it is still a muffled exhaust. 
Yep. I think it's the AFE exhaust kit on this one. As far as the tailgate goes, it's got some dings in it. As I come across it this way, I think you can see it a little better. Just some little love taps from the trailer on the top of the tailgate there. It is not perfect. It's not in bad shape, but it's got some dings. I'm just trying to point everything out so there's no surprises on this truck, guys. I know this is a, a lot to take in on this one. It's a beautiful truck, but I want to make sure you got all the facts before you consider looking at it or purchasing it. Paint's real nice. As far as body damage goes, there's really none. I mean, you get a couple little scratches and scuffs like that little one, but nothing crazy. Very clean underside. I was surprised this truck had rust on the rockers because it isn't anywhere else. But that's pretty much it. Here's a little bit at the bottom of this door. Nothing crazy. Tiny bit there. All in all for the miles though, this thing is about as clean as you're gonna find for these kind of miles. Oh, we got a train. I'm gonna save my piece then. Uh, 816diesel.com, head over to my website. If you have any questions, you wanna get a hold of me, if you wanna come check it out, if you wanna know the price, if you got questions about the mods, 816diesel.com. Uh, my name's Cameron, you can call me direct, 913-735-3748, that's my cell. Call, text me anytime. I don't care if it's late or early, I'm up usually. Uh, let me know if you got any questions or need any help with this truck. All right, you guys probably get sick of hearing it, but I don't think it'll be around long. I mean, this is a beautiful truck. We do, we even paint match brand new door handles to it. So we tried to go above and beyond and make these trucks nicer every time we do them. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think about the blue stuff. If you like all the PTM or if it's too much, we always like feedback. Um, but that's it, guys. Thanks for your time. You have a great week out there and look forward to hearing from you. Bye train buddy.